Welcome back to Cartography and Geography Club. Today, we embark on an in-depth exploration of Somalia's dynamic economy, delving into its industries, government policies, import-exports, and resource management. Join us as we uncover the intricate systems of Somalia's economy. Plus, don't forget, you can create your own map with us and enter it for a chance to win this season's prize packs. So let's dive in and chart our course to learning. Somalia's real GDP growth has been low and volatile, averaging only 2% per year for 2019 to 2023. However, the economy is expected to record a GDP growth of 3.1% in 2023, as the country recovers from the severe drought that occurred from 2020 to 2023. Inflation is projected to be 4.2% in 2023 and is expected to slightly decrease to 4.0% in 2024 as supply chains stabilize. Despite climatic shocks and complicated security situations, Somalia has maintained progress on structural reforms and sound macroeconomic management. Somalia's economy is gradually recovering in an analysis of its industries, manufacturing, its capabilities, and service sector reveals promising developments. The country's market is emerging with unexploited natural resources and significant investment opportunities in sectors such as oil and gas, energy, telecommunication, and ports. Its strategic location near some of the world's busiest shipping lanes positions Somalia as a potential gateway to Ethiopia, a landlocked country with a substantial population. The manufacturing sector in Somalia is in the process of rebuilding, driven by human capital and more stable governance, which has been identified as positive influences on economic progress. However, the impact of infrastructure on this sector remains insignificant. Efforts are being made to promote manufacturing as a pathway for economic development, with policy and workforce development strategies being suggested to overcome existing constraints. The service sector, particularly telecommunications and financial services, has shown resilience in growth. This sector benefits from a high rate of entrepreneurship and a strong business culture, supported by a young and dynamic population. Additionally, a large diaspora in the United States and other Western countries contributes to the economy through capital infusions, knowledge transfers, and skill applications. Agriculture remains the backbone of Somalia's economy, contrib contributing over 70% of the total GDP. 80% of the employment, and a substantial amount of exports. The country boasts over 8.9 million hectares of arable land, which is a significant resource for the agricultural sector. Somalia's top five industries show a mix of growth and challenges, reflecting the nation's economic landscape. Agriculture has demonstrated resilience despite facing environmental challenges. Growth in this sector is primarily driven by heightened demand in the Gulf states. Telecommunications, another key industry, has experienced significant growth to, thanks to heavy investments in innovation, making it one of the most advanced sectors in Africa. The rapid expansion of mobile money services is a notable success in this industry. The fishing industry, supported by Somalia's extensive coastline, the longest in mainland Africa, has potential for growth, but has struggled with shrinkage due to illegal fishing by foreign vessels and insufficient infrastructure. Similarly, the livestock industry is crucial for both exports and the local economy. Despite its growth driven by increased demand, it faces significant challenges from drought and locust invasions. The energy sector, particularly renewable energy, is emerging with substantial growth potential. However, it is still in the early development stages and faces hurdles related to infrastructure and investment. There are also key business and investment opportunities in the development of economic infrastructure, including roads, airports, and seaports. 
public sector financing and partnerships with local contractors for road machinery, equipment, and engineering services present areas of potential growth. Moving over to government policies. Somalia's government has implemented several policies aimed at expanding the economy and has entered into various agreements with foreign countries to enhance trade and investment. Somalia is a member of the Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa, or COMISA, and has approved the ratification of the African Continental Free Trade Area. The country is also in the advanced stages of joining the East African community, which will further integrate it into regional trade. Over the last decade, Somalia has signed bilateral trade agreements with countries including Turkey, Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia, Djibouti, UAE, Qatar, South Africa, Italy, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, Sudan, and China. These agreements aim to foster trade relations and economic co cooperation. In 2015, Somalia passed an investment law to promote and protect foreign investments, offering incentives such as tax advantages and guarantees against expropriations. Additionally, Somalia has submitted a notification for intent to join the World Trade Organization and is working through the accession stages a move expected to open up more opportunities for international trade and investment. Furthermore, the World Bank has provided a collection of policy notes for the Somali government, which includes strategies for job creation, private investments, federalism, public finance management, trade and integration, and infrastructure development. These policies are designed to connect workers to jobs, support resilience, and drive growth through urbanization, upgrading, and diversification. These efforts reflect Somalia's commitment to expanding its economy by creating a conducive environment for trade and investment, both regionally and globally. The government's focus on macroeconomic stability, debt relief, and infrastructure development is crucial for attracting foreign investments and in promoting sustainable economic growth. Somalia's financial debt levels have seen significant changes over the years. Historically, Somalia has struggled with high debt levels from external sources. In 2019, the country's external debt was approximately $5.62 billion, which was a slight increase from the previous year. However, by 2020, the external debt had declined by 17%. 0.13% to about $4.66 billion. As of 2024, Somalia's external debt has been substantially reduced thanks to international debt relief efforts. The International Monetary Fund, or IMF, and the World Bank's International Development Association, or IDA, approved the Heavily Indebted Poor Countries Initiative Comp completion point for Somalia, providing total debt services savings of $4.5 billion. This initiative reduced Somalia's external debt from 64% of GDP in 2018 to less than 6% of GDP by the end of 2023. The debt relief has facilitated access to additional finance, financial resources, helping Somalia strengthen its economy, reduce poverty, and promote job creation. Now let's look at imports and exports. In 2024, Somalia's top exports included gold of $246 million, sheep and goats of $163 million, bovine $39.6 million, insect resins $32.3 million, and crustaceans $21.4 million. The main import partners are the United Arab Emirates at $1.88 billion, China at $1.05 billion, India at $912 million, Turkey at $386 million, and Ethiopia at $265 million. While key export destinations 
are the United Arab Emirates of $283 million, Oman, $173 million, Bulgaria at $18.5 million, India at $15.6 million, and Kuwait at $13.5 million. The economy of Somalia is heavily dependent on trade, with imports representing more than 40% of GDP and exports about 10% of the GDP. This trade is mainly consumption-driven and financed largely by remittances. Somalia's natural resources are diverse and hold great potential. Although they remain largely untapped due to various challenges, Somalia's natural ecosystems are under significant pressure from climate change, land degradation, biodiversity loss, and poor environmental governance. These factors have led to ecological crises, with extreme climate events becoming more common. In 2023, over 6 million people required emergency humanitarian assistance following extreme drought conditions. Somalia is reported to have large reserves of various minerals, including iron ore, uranium, copper, tin, bauxite, gypsum, salt, and natural gas. There is also potential for oil reserves given Somalia's proximity to oil-rich Gulf Arab states. However, the exploitation of these resources has been hindered by poor infrastructure and decades of civil war. The country is slowly rebuilding and foreign companies have shown interest in investing in its mining industry. Somalia's natural capital, including its forests, is under stress. Land degradation rates are estimated at between 23 and 30 percent, one of the highest in the regions. Efforts are needed to restore landscapes and livelihoods through sustainable practices. Oil exploration has begun in regions like Puntland with the first well yielding oil. However, the full potential of oil production is yet to be realized. Piracy off the coast of Somalia has seen a resurgence in recent years, which has had significant economic impacts both locally and internationally. After a period of decline, piracy in incidents have increased with 33 incidents recorded worldwide in the first three months of 2024, up from 27 for the same period in 2023. Somali pirates have been implicated in more than 30 bucketeering incidents since November 2023. This resurgence is attributed to factors such as resentment against illegal foreign fishing, reduced international naval presence, and local political dynamics. The economic implications are profound. Piracy poses a sizable and unambiguous negative effect on trade flows, with a trade destruction of 7.4% along shipping lanes through the Arabian Sea. Shipping companies incur higher costs due to ransom payments, hiring armed guards, installing security cameras, and crew training. Additionally, insurance premiums and fuel costs soar as shippers take longer routes to avoid piracy-prone waters. Somalia's economy is directly affected by ransom payments which strain the resources of local stakeholders. The threat of piracy affects Somalia's relations with international trading partners and can hinder foreign investment. There are also reports of partnerships being between partner pirates and jihadist groups such as Al-Shabaab, with pirates potentially providing the group with funds and weapons. This complicates the security situation and has broader implications for the region's stability. While piracy has declined significantly from its peak in 2011, the recent uptick poses renewed challenges. It affects global trade, increases operational costs for maritime industries, and has complex interplays with local crime and terrorism, impacting Somalia's economy and international relations. Efforts to address the root causes and improve maritime security are essential to my, my, mitigating these impacts. As we conclude our investigation of Somalia's economy, 
were inspired by the nation's enduring spirit and unwavering pursuit of progress. Thank you for joining me today, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join our Patreon for bonus material on all our subjects. Have a great week, and don't forget to never stop learning.